question about our email notifications. I know we have a number of automatic emails that you can select to utilize or not utilize, but do you mind just going over those real briefly with me and give me an idea of maybe what each one means? Yes. Um, you can find those by going to the Tools menu, choosing Users and Organization. Um, each person can have their own email notifications, so I'm just going to go into this dialog box and here you see a list of the users and groups in the uh, system. I'm going to right click on one of these users and then choose email notifications. Okay. And so when I do that, um, we will see a list of all the notifications that you can get from Standard Time. And um, I'll just sort of go through the list quickly so you have an idea what each one of these means. Um, the first ones are actually um, sent on the first day of the week, um, usually Monday. Uh, Timesheet has not been submitted for approval. Um, essentially that means that um, the system will check each employee to make sure that they have submitted their timesheet sometime last week. Uh, if they've not done that, then they will get an email notification so that they uh, get around to doing that, so that that certifies that they're timesheet is correct. Uh, that is actually optional, but um, you can choose to enforce this, this type of internal policy so that employees do that. The next thing, uh, these next notifications are along the same lines. If timesheet contains less than a certain number of hours, then they will also get an email notification telling them that so that they can look through their timesheet, find out where the uh, hours need to be added and then update their timesheets and uh, managers can then look over their timesheets. Um, the next two would be for managers. So if a timesheet uh, has been submitted by employees, the manager would get a notification of those um, or rejected by a manager the um, employee would get a notification of that. Oh, okay. So time off request has been submitted uh, is another one that uh, managers will get when employees submit uh, a time off request for vacation or sick or, or something like that. If the time off request is modified, for instance, um, if it is uh, approved or declined, uh, then the employee will get that. The next few here are for tasks that are scheduled and that are overdue. You can get an email notification so that you um, take a look at those tasks and then start working on those. Uh, the next one here, uh, task percentage warning is, is exceeded, would be um, also <coughs> for managers so that uh, if employees begin to work on tasks and exceed those tasks, um, they can be notified so that they can, um, you know, intervene if necessary. So that kind of helps you from budget overruns. Yes, exactly. Okay. All right, cool. So the next two here would be for managers, high-level managers who do not want their um, timesheet submittal or, or time off requests uh, broadcasted um, to other managers. They can uh, stop those. Um, those would normally be for managers, not for employees. Okay. And uh, here you can get an email notification when you're assigned to a new project. So as soon as a manager assigns you to a project, you will get an email notification letting you know that that happened. So right. okay. that's kind of the list. Um, and you can look through those and uh, set them up for each employee. Okay, well that, that helps clarify things, so I, I appreciate it. Very good. Okay, thanks a bunch. Mm -hmm. All right.